Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. Last time we left off, we were at the water treatment plant, and we fixed it and all that stuff so we can go back to uh, the robots at Grey Garden and check and have them hopefully let us use Grey Garden as a place. <laughs> Good description by me. Why am I not... Am I not drinking this or whatever? You know what, screw it. Um... The reason I am here is because I had to fast travel because every time I got over this dam here, game would crash. Pain in the ass, so I just fast traveled and said screw it. Um, Nuka Cola, still parched. Am I good now? Am I good now? Properly hydrated, good. Let's get some uh, food as well mutton chunks. Still need some food. Now we got that small. Mole rat chunks. Properly fed. Let's refill our bottle. I have a lot of radiation. I need to get that checked out. Okay. Now let's move on. Now we are going to head to here to get all of the baseball shit. So we need to head south. Along the ra actually, yeah, along the railroad tracks until we get to the big intersection. Like the big interstate, I guess, is going to, the big highway is going to go over it. And then we'll go um, southwest from there. So let's get going. Let's get the combat shotgun out. I'm gonna quick save just because I like to. What's the time? Ah, shit. Whatever. We're just gonna push. We're gonna push through. Don't feel like resting. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just flower. Look kind of weird. Look like a. A, a blue, blue and a red, as if like something was painted like metal, but it's just flowers. I think that's the uh, highway that's we're gonna intersect with with the uh, railroad. My neighbors are being loud. Hopefully you can't hear it. I believe we've already looted this area when we first came to Diamond City. Not sure. In here. Yeah, we did. Dog meat. Dog's just getting in the way. You're. Alright. So hopefully we can find this baseball stuff. We can get back. That's a dead Brahmin. That's gunfire. Something clawed at this thing. What was that? I think it's an overturned boat or something. Alright, let's just keep moving. Dogmeat found an enemy. Where the hell did you find an enemy? Dogmeat. Where's the enemy? Is he over here? Oh. Jeez. Shit. Shit. Ugh. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use vats for these. Do not like them. Torso on. Alright, my mouse is freaking out again. And then, how do I get to the next person? Tackle target. There we go. Person. There we go. Yeah. You want this to be the last mug you see? Yeah, yeah. Parched due to lack of water. Let us take a drink while we are while we're heading out. While we're moving out. Good. Probably hydrated. Let's keep on going along these railroad tracks. I guess this isn't the place I was thinking it was. Or maybe, no, this isn't the inter intersection or whatever. Whatever. There's the good old city of Boston. Almost said Baltimore for some reason. But that is Boston. Is that, is that water? Is that flooded? I wonder why that's flooded. My distant terrain doesn't look too great. 
But then again, my computer would not be able to handle distant terrain. So where the hell are we? Oh shit, we did pass it. Okay. Um, that counts. <laughs> so let's head south. Um, southwest, so something around here. Although I just did look at the look at the uh, things on the mini on the compass, whatever the map markers. That's fine though. I'm not really that worried. I guess they're in this area, this flooded area. I don't see any enemies yet, but keep our eyes peeled. Whole place is flooded. Holy shit! All right, we gotta find these baseballs. This baseball shit. Ain't this something? Yeah. The Westing Estate. Oh no, the map marker. Okay, let's uh, deactivate the quest. Start the century. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Out the field. Yes, let's re let's remove that. Jesus, dog making noise. Well, I already know there's one up here, but whatever. Okay, do some lock picking. There we go. Nice. Ooh, lots of ammo. Free war money, signed baseball. Thank you. Magazine. Watching a conductor at the orchestra. <laughs> Thanks, Snick. Very nice of you. Just hand them the not the not signed baseball. Like, yep, that's it. Medics. Oh jeez. Playground here. Hello. Don't fall off. Get the shotgun out. Trying to get underneath the shell. Anything in here? Is it tree stump? Come on, where is he? There he is. Nick. Nick, Nick, Nick. Bolts. Good. Signed baseball card. It's upside down. Buff out. Reload this, there's a shotgun. We'll reload the shotgun as well. Hi. Oh, damn it, dog. Uh, that wasn't the dog's fault, that was my fault. Time to run, time to run, time to run. Oh, jeez. Run! Why am I, why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Why am I not moving forward? Run! Should probably be turning around and shooting these guys, but probably easier just to do this. Where are they? Yeah, I don't know why I got stuck where I did. I think we're good, right? Nope, nope, nope. Get him, dog. There we go. <laughs> I'm scared of my alerts. No, no fun. Right, let's get the uh, rifle out. There should be the last of them right now. Nothing, no more. Okay. Spoke too soon, I guess. any more of these shits pop out. The radio is not active. Sign pitcher's mitt. Or catcher's mitt. Where's the mire they're catching? Hatchling. Is it invisible? Oh. Oh, for a second it was invisible for some reason. My cursor was over here and I could see um, health. I got really confused. Really worried. 
combat shotgun fit in there? Whoever did that's gotta teach me about packing for vacation. Alright, cool. So we're all set on that. Let's uh, reactivate the quest. Uh, out of left field. And the map is now go to Hardware Town. The next quest is now to go to Hardware Town. So I believe we want to go this way. Someone's driving a loud truck outside my house. So, yeah. Put that away. Take a stem pack. Parts from lack of water. More water. So I think we're going to go to Hardware Town and then to... What was that noise? And then we'll head to um, Diamond City after that, I believe. Ooh, there's some radiation stuff over there. Let's not. Radioactive stuff, I mean. Mutated fern. Don't really care about that. My back hurts. It's the way I'm sitting. Oh well. I'll survive. There's lights. Oh, it must be Diamond City then. It must be a lot closer to Diamond City than I thought. How far are we from this thing? Hardware Town's right over here. We can stay away from those radioactive barrels. I almost said buckets. It's a tent or a canopy or something over here. Okay, so that was easy. They didn't even get a shot off. Which I'm happy about. Do not want them to get shots off. Uh, 12 gauge. 308. I don't need any healing powder. I got plenty. That's right, I can use healing powder. I have other ways of healing myself. Besides, um, let's take this map marker off. Painting the town. Um, I've always healed myself besides stim packs. Shit! I quick I quick loaded. Son of a bitch! I think I had an autosave not too far away. Son of a bitch! I'll be right back when I figure out when I get myself back to Hardware Town. Sorry about this, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I'm actually hearing someone yelling stuff at me. Ooh, okay. Someone said she's hurt. Someone needs help somewhere. I wish I could figure out- I wish I could have my character yell and be like, I'm coming, who needs help? You know, that kind of stuff. But I can't. Someone is injured somewhere and needs my help. Somebody please help! She's hurt! Who? What? Where? Her. She's in here! Please help! I don't- What dog meat? Where? We'll figure that out later, dog meat. Someone needs our help. Is this door not gonna work? Why is this door not working? There we go. I guess I had to shoot it a couple times. I feel like this is a trap. Whatever, I'll let myself walk into the trap. I'm here, I'm here to help. She's right back here. Hurry. Excuse me. These mannequins are freaking me out. Oh jeez. Damn it! Who closed the door? God damn idiots. Why'd you have to do that? I just wanted to paint. Raider scum. They're all raider scum. 
demo. Yeah, let's see, I don't have anything special. Nice baseball bat. Now let's head back. Let's head back over here and we'll check out the stuff in this direction. Need to find some paint. Ah, that's a tin can, but whatever. Be the first thing to go when I scrap or when I need when I need to throw shit out because I'm overweight. Take that. Definitely a good place to scrap a lot of shit or to find a lot of scrap. I mean, so for those of you who are still in the debate as to whether what kind what the uh, encumbrance points mean to Bethesda, this will tell you. Junk. Where is it? Where is it? Five pound weight weighs five. So that means that the encumbrance points are pounds. In case anyone was still debating it. I know it was a debate. I think it was a debate for a while. Not like a huge heated debate, you know, one of those internet controversy debates, but it was, it was people were like wondering. Some people thought it was just points, some people thought it was pounds or kilograms or, or what have you, but they're pounds. FYI, you can all sleep soundly tonight. I know in some of the older games, they, they'd normally have, like, they'd like to hide shit underneath um, boxes and stuff, so. Just trying to find everything. Take those desk fans. Industrial solvent. That sounds important. I'll take it. Even though I have no idea what it is and what's in it. Wonder glue. Tongs. Why do I need tongs? What do tongs have for me? Blowtorch has oil, I believe. Oil is one of my things that I need. Let's not go over there. This is that. This is in that room that we saw. That's, there's the cellar. I saw that earlier. What do we got over here? Extinguisher. I wonder if this leads to where that. Is this oh my god I'm glad I killed these guys now I'm glad I killed them they deserved it I can't take that MRE god damn that's horrible yeah James is so glad he killed them um, they definitely deserve that we could build ourselves a friend with all the stuff in here build ourselves a friend Take all the paint. Yes. Paint can. Paint mixer. Activate. Make green paint. Make more green paint. Okay, so we're good there. We need to drop off some hey, junk something for with uh, Nick. Good old Nicky. Uh, no, I want my stuff. This is industrial solvent, too. It has steel and stuff. Um. Oh, I throw away the yellow paint. Damn it. I gotta go back and find the paint. Alright, Nick Valentine, junk. Blue paint. Where's the green paint? Uh, where's the yellow yellow paint and green paint might be under here no where's the green paint for you um doo -doo 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 -doo. maybe it's under miscellaneous green paint cool keep the yellow paint just in case I need it for some reason Like, I don't like the way this light is. It's too green for me. I might go back in the mod and change it. I don't know. 
think it's getting late. We might we might just okay. Glad I glad I didn't. I was gonna say you might just skip all this and go. But bobby pins are always useful. I have over a hundred, but it's always useful to bobby pins. Can I get somewhere up there? Oh, probably check the second floor that I never checked. Take that. Yeah, there we go. Stuff in there, but I'll get that in a couple minutes. Hmm, they got a nice setup over here. Take that. No need cigarettes. Take the vodka. Yeah, I'll take more vodka. Why not? I have some for. You'll have some tonight. I'd share it with Nick, but I don't. I mean, sure he drinks, but he's not. He ain't gonna get drunk. All right, we're good to go over there. Oh, that could have been dangerous. I haven't cleared this place out yet, so I don't know. Eh, we'll keep. We have enough liquor right now. Five bobby pins. Holy shit! You got a Fancy thing hairbrush. for antiques, huh? It's got screws in it, Nick. Get off my ass. Key to the storage. Magazine. Yeah. You're now able to build a high-tech light a high-tech light at your settlements. Cool. Huh, is this better than mine? Radiation like radiation resistance, yeah. Other than that, no. So there's a, st I have a storage key. So where's the dog meat? Get out of the way. Oh, there we go. Locks really Damn strong. It. A quick crossbow. How does that relate to my crossbow? What is my crossbow? Tactical crossbow. Sixty forty-eight. No. My crossbow is generally used for a get a night get a shot off and then switch to a faster weapon. Crossbow is just generally used for you know sneak attacks and stuff like that. So that's all. Woo, where am I going? No. Put the light back on until I figure out how to get the hell out of here. Alright, cool. So save, exit. Long loading screen. There we go. And I believe Diamond City is over here. Yeah. So we'll start making our way this way. I wonder what happened to that settler that tricked us. I never ended up never ended up finding her. Yep. They're up there. Okay. Pack it in, bro. Who is that? Okay, mouse. Must make me miss the kill shot. Something out there. Yeah, no shit, Nick. What the? Can I get up the? Can I get to the fire escape? No. Open fire. Okay, you don't have to tell me twice. I can get up this one. No. How do I get up there? I think they have some goodies that I want. That looks like a place to get up. Alright, up, 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 up. And dead end. Damn it, this is a waste. Okay, not entire waste. More yelling from my neighbors. Nick getting in the way. My mouse getting on my nerves. Alright, whatever. We're just gonna push forward and get to Diamond City. It's fine. It's no big deal. Just bandits. Super duper mart. Hmm. If we ever need a food, we might be able to check that out. Right now we're good. Mass fusion. 
That's an enemy turret? Why would that be an enemy turret? One, why can dog meat do this? Where did this even come from? I don't understand. I really don't think dog meat used to be able to do this. Oh, well, we're right here at the entrance. Who are you? Hey. Hey, you there. Are you here for a job? What? What's the job? I want you to go kill uh, left hand man the governor. His raiders have been attacking our squads. We're in too, we're too busy with him. He's hiring mercs. So we're hiring mercs. What the hell? What is this? This is definitely a mod. I don't know what mod it is though. And the grammar is terrible. Capitalize things that shouldn't be capitalized. Oh, he's a gunner. Do I have a mod that lets me join the gunners? God, I don't even know. Oh, Jesus. Put pants on. You have a gun on your hip? Head on inside. And, oh man, I'm confused. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I was just standing there. Yeah, that's usually the case with Piper. Someone stands there and she talks. I'd be sick of her by now if she weren't so damn fearless. Kind of rubs off on you. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. At least you're wearing, like, clothes. Why is Dogman keep making noises? Is he sneezing or something? Isn't it bad for dogs to sneeze? I don't know. I'm not an expert in anything. And it's been a while since we've actually been to Diamond City. First time in the chapter, at least. Alright, it seems like it's obviously nighttime, so it's time to find a bed. I believe we're just going to head to the dugout inn. There's Piper's office, but I want to talk to the other people who I have stuff for, like the the guy over there. Okay, that narrows it down. Okay. Having a sale on brooms. Oh no, wait! My programming is telling me we never have sales. Maybe you should buy something else. Let's see what you have. What do you sell? Uh, I shouldn't talk. I always forget to do these, but whatever. What do you sell here? Oh, everything, sir. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. I've got a few minutes to browse. Oh, goody. Let's see what we want to get rid of. Big Jim. I don't know why I took it, but I'll sell it. That's mine. Let's get rid of this Molotov cocktail. Oh, let's get rid of that. I don't know why I even had that. Uh, maybe there's some reasoning behind it that I've since forgotten. Uh, stimulants. Let's keep that. Chems. MRE chicken pesto pasta. That one's not too bad. I've had that before. Get rid of the buff out. Let's get rid of some of the buff out. Wow. Um, Hydra. Rid of the jet. One Medex. Psycho. I'm going to have some liquor tonight. Get rid of one of the Nuka Cola Quantums. We can get rid of the. No. That'd be funny. Why do I have all that Meyer Lurk meat? Let's see what we got. Can get rid of the cigarettes. Don't know why I have those. I think those are from Kellogg. I can't remember. If they are, then I, they shouldn't be on this menu. Uh, let's get rid of the green paint. No. All these models I can get rid of. And these subway tokens. Not sure why. I don't know why I even have those still. Um, junk I'm keeping, ammo, 
Get rid of the harpoons. Um, I do want to get rid of some of those missiles that I had. What kind of stuff do you sell? M1 Grand Bayonet. Nice. What kind of armor? Ooh, combat armor light. It's not as good as what I'm wearing, but whatever. Let's see. What do you got? Got some stim packs and stuff, but I think I'm pretty good on stim packs. We got perk magazines. Those are like the, uh, I they say an import or something like that? The mod that I have installed. Anything super fantastic that I need? Screws, always take screws. Leather is important. I don't really need circuitry. Any fiber optics? That's something that I need. Screw. Aluminum, I think I'm good with that. Bag of fertilizer. Globe as a screw. Shit, I'm adhesive. Holy shit. It's 2000. I can afford it, but I'm not going to afford it. Rubber. Do I really need rubber? Let's sell some of those missiles. A collection or something? Hey. Hi. Yes, let's take all of the missiles. And then dog meat, you can have all of the junk besides the paint. And that bottle. Uh, hi. Aw, I totally forgot about that. That's adorable. We're so delighted you've chosen us for your shopping needs. We buy and sell everything. From everyone. Always. Let's see what you got. Here you are. I'm peckish from a lack of food. Whoops. Um, thingies, 100 caps. Don't need that many flares, but whatever. Um, we'll accept it. I don't need the railway spike either. Let's go actually go through this stuff and make sure. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go find the uh, dugout in. And um, so we can go get some sleep. The hell is this dugout in? I, to I totally forget where it is. Oop, don't want to walk over people while they're sleeping. Probably not the best. What time is it? It's one. It's one thirty in the morning. Why are you guys still awake? Go to sleep. I think people in the Commonwealth need to hear your story, kid. A story has to have an ending, otherwise it's just words. Excuse oh, me. Here. I taught myself to play the harmonica when I was five. Turns out I'm a pretty good teacher, but a horrible student. Interesting. My favorite phrase is, every love story is a ghost story. It's because love is so powerful it can bring the dead to life, but an unrequited love is the opposite. It makes you feel invisible. That's deep. Uh, I just want to go to bed. Give me the dugout in. Second base, hmm. Where the hell is it dug out in? You see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? I don't know, but I'm not happy about it. There we go, dug out in. Jeez. Don't we have a quest in here or something like that? The Those brothers or something they want me to do something? <laughs> okay, that really helps. It really narrows it down. Beat it, pal. Uh, Get lost. Save. Hey there, pal. Oh, it's you. Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because, no, it is not. I don't. I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Come on, man. Take a stand. Don't chicken out here. I, I don't think I, I could uh, do that thing that you're describing. <laughs> With these men, it could, well, it, it, it could turn violent. I really hate how the glitch them with my face and stuff, and it's not what my hands are. And what the hell is on the side of my lips? Anyway. 
Nothing will change unless you make it happen. It's not that bad. I can just, I can, I can just deal with this. Don't you want this to stop? Yes, but. Don't worry, I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work, you got spunk, kid. That's all that matters. Okay, beat it, that's... pal. Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said, I said that's enough. Leave Thanks for the help alone. back there. I'm gonna make a pretty penny <laughs> off of this one. Look at you. Beat it, hmm, pal. Let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. Sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or Beat else? Beat it, pal. I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh -huh. I'll beat you up. Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Travis, Why don't do shoot this? the man. Beat it, pal. Travis. The hell is wrong? You sh what if sh oh. to this, like, right now. Travis. What oh, been geez. Time? Hey, hey. Quiet. All right? Yikes. Okay, he didn't kill him. I thought he killed him. I was gonna get okay. real upset. Quite what I expected, but we move on. Ready for next part of foolproof plan? Not sure what you mean by fool. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. The last part wasn't so foolproof. You are alive. Travis is alive. Everything is fine. And next part is simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Why do I have to be involved in this? Think about it. I am Scarlet's boss. I tell her she needs to go see Travis, suddenly she is thinking <laughs> she is no longer just waitress. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? Yeah. You think that article is telling the truth? You know, about the mayor? Ah, the mayor's okay in my book. Hey, Vidi. Ha ha, I'm fine. How goes the matchmaking? Shh. Well, you want them to hear you? I want a bed. Ha <laughs> So, how goes the matchmaking? Don't do this. Vidi. Ha <laughs> ha. I hate you. So, how goes the matchmaking? Where is this? There's blood on the ground. Where am I going? Do, wait, do I actually have this quest thing, like, going? Um, trouble water, doo -doo -doo -doo, confidence man. Convince Scarlet to meet Travis. Where is Scarlet? Scarlet is somewhere over here. This is a pain. I just want to go to bed. It's super late. The character's going to get tired soon. We ought to talk. What's up? What's wrong? Wrong? Oh no, nothing's wrong. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. I've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I uh, figured I'd offer to balance the board. So, is there anything you want to know? What do you remember about the Institute? It's all pretty hazy from back then, but now and then I get glimpses. Life inside the Institute, they keep you isolated. A single test chamber was my whole world for years. And someone was always watching. Then one day, you wake up on the other side. And that's it. They've cut you loose. Welcome to the brave new world. With such people in it.
So, so who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth, authentic institute handiwork, but I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. But my memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. Don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. Wait, the original Nick was from my time? Sure was. Which meant when I finally ended up out here, it was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, <laughs> they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim. The first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. A local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. It's something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. Where's that town? We should go visit. I tried to go back and say thanks, once I'd gotten myself established. But the place was wiped off the map. Raiders. Don't know what happened to the people. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something I've always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. You should probably head out. Uh, a couple things to say. Um, my skin is getting darker and darker every time. So that's fun, I guess. Um, I can level up. That's something I didn't even know about. Uh, hold on, where's confidence, man? Uh, show on map. Oh, that really helps. Damn it, every time. Is she not... Is she not in Diamond City? She's not in Diamond City. I don't know how... I don't know what is wrong with this map. I'm so confused. Oh, and the map's broken. Jesus Christ, let's level up. Uh, other thing, um, someone decided to be really loud with like tire screeching outside my house during that conversation, so I don't know if anyone could hear that. Mm, we need something, I feel like we should do something with crafting. Or I can pick expert locks. What is this? Hack advanced terminals, definitely want that one. Um, waste not, want not. You can salvage uncommon components like screws. Uh, uh, yes. Requirements not met. What do I need? Intelligence five. We're getting more intelligence then. He's getting smarter as he, as he goes. You know, as time goes on. James is. Oh Jesus! And the light and the sun's coming up. Fine. My girl. She kept the cap off the toothpaste. Know who does that? A synth. Uh, I guess we're not sleeping tonight. You know, we're just gonna push through. It's easier this way. Um, someone's over here that we need to talk to. I think it's, I think it's. Oh no, this is this is her. 
Where's the inspiration okay. for your music come from? We are some of its Whatever, Scarlet yes. High. I'm on a break right now. Funny thing is, people lack the faith. Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Yeah? Absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. You can talk to him or you can talk to the doctor. Jesus. Um, are you the one I'm supposed to talk to about the green paint? You find that paint? Yeah, how come you're not a map marker? What? Where's my paint? Nick? What happened to my paint, Nick? It's right there. Paint the town. Where's the where's the quest? Paint the town. That's not it. Painting the town. Yeah, I found it. I'm working on it. Oh, but I found some yet. Yeah. Okay, wasn't Jesus. I saw it wasn't. Yeah. Now that's damn fine news. Why don't you go ahead and paint the first stroke? Let's see how the shade matches up. That's just stupidity on my part, just not reading. Use green paint. Abbott. Mmm. That's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. He's gonna humor him. You think that's enough paint to last you? Should be enough for a good coat or two. That'll have to do for now. There's your payment, and a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. Folks around here need the wall. It's a symbol. Something incorruptible, you know? Good on you for helping her. Thanks, Nick. Um, yeah, it wasn't just me like, oh, God, like these these weird, these, like, terrible, crazy people. Um, I was, he was going to humor them. People, The people need it, just like Nick was saying. China is now a single. What's in there? Where's Mo? He's not out yet. All right, let's go talk to Piper. She has an interview for it. Like we have an interview with her. Questions around town. What? Diamond City's got two private dicks now. Officer, you need something, Scaver? I guess I am a Scaver. Probably nothing. But some guy came into town. Said he picked up a weird distress call from the Cambridge ruins. Interesting. Let's talk to Piper. We need her help and she has an interview with us. We promised. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. Oops. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Uh-oh. Okay, I can read that. He's pissed. Kellogg kidnapped my son handed him over to the Institute. I'm going to find them and make them regret what they've done to me. The Institute. Oh boy. 
I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't gonna go quietly the moment I saw him. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. I don't know, Nick. That seems a little... out there. You're talking to a synth. I am a little out there. Just stay with me on this. Let's see, I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Omari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I might have just taken a piece of his brain by accident, or just, you know, for some reason. No role-playing reason behind it, but I didn't feel like going all the way back there. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way. I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm going to do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. And by the way, at some point... You owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I realize that we are probably pushing over 50 minutes for the video. Because I forgot that I had that 11 minute segment in the beginning when I accidentally quick loaded instead of quick saved. So we're going to end the video. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time. Where we're going to head to. We're going to finish up here, and we're going to continue on. We'll head to. Uh,